Welcome Leos. I'm back y'all with another video. How are y'all doing? I hope all of you guys are well. I'm doing amazing. And I hope the same for you all. Alright, if you guys would like to follow me on social media, I do have a page. Okay, the page name is Empress Empire Oils and More. Empress Empire Oils and More. And I will be going live over there more often. And that's where um, a lot of new things are going on. They're, they're over there on Facebook, okay? Facebook, all right? So you can follow me on Facebook at Empress Empire Oils and More, all right? If you would like to inquire about a personal reading, you can contact me via email. That information is going to be in the drop box below, all right? So if you're new to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. Happy to have you here. Go ahead and click that bell so you can get the notifications for your next videos. All right. So this video is going to be for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you have Leo anywhere in those placements, you can utilize this video. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, guys, don't get in the comment section. Boo hoo 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 hoo, crying. Look, if it wasn't your read, it wasn't your read. You should get a personal reading to get a more in depth reading, okay? This is a general read, okay? So, let's see what we got for the month of October for my Leos, okay? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Please give me a message for my Leos for the month of October. Ooh, okay. The first one that jumped out is that Two of Cups. All right. And the Three of Cups. Okay. And the Temperance. So far, so good. The Emperor. All right. Six of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. Ooh. The Six of Pentacles. And the Star Card. And the Page of Cups. And the Hermit. Oh, Leo's. <laughs> Leo. All right. <laughs> it looks like I see what's going on. See, we got the King of Pentacles here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, Three of Swords, and the Hierophant. Are you guys separating from an Earth sign? King of Pentacles, it doesn't necessarily have to be an Earth sign, but they can carry a lot of Earth in their chart. This could be someone who's very wealthy, well off, very, you know, entrepreneurial or career oriented. But this looks like a separation, the Three of Swords and the Hierophant. Um, someone could have been in a third-party situation. Someone could have been married here, okay? But see, with that Knight of Wands, somebody was very playful, okay? Somebody was playing around a lot, okay? Maybe you guys decide to move on with that Six of Swords. Yeah, see, we got you, you guys here being strong with the Strength card. So it looks like some of y'all are on the lookout for a connection okay you guys are looking for a connection that right connection you know the bond you're looking for that that is something that you are on the lookout for okay because see we got the three of cups and that two of cups you're definitely looking for a union okay maybe you're looking for someone more mature um someone who's older someone that's very dominant um you know that that type of energy could could be dealing with the Nares. got sagittarius here aquarius and pisces cancer scorpio and virgo but it looks like you're trying to play matchmaker like you're trying to find your match okay you're trying to find your equal okay let's see why is the two of cups here yeah, see, you're trying to find your equal give and take with that Six of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Cups there? Yes, look at this, the Two of Wands. Yes, you're hoping, you're letting fate and you're letting the universe do this, okay? Because I feel like you guys are crying over spilled milk. 
you tried something and tried and tried and tried and maybe it just did not work okay it ended it ended with the death card okay why is the two of wands here some of y'all are ready for the next step ready to take that next step uh, ready for you know the next thing okay so see we got the ten of swords there was a betrayal or an ending and you're ready to start fresh okay we got that ten of swords and the ace of wands so definitely was an ending and you're ready for a new beginning okay oh you're looking for somebody who's gonna put the work in or someone has already been putting in that work you're working on your profile. Maybe you, you're working on something, okay? You're working on bettering something. You're working on something better. Why is the three of cups here? Okay, I'm getting that there's a lot of, of you talking with your girlfriends or you're talking with your friends. Um, and you're telling your friends, you know, like, yeah, you know, I'm ready for a real connection. I'm ready for something new. I want to, you know, I'm done with this. I want something fresh. Okay. Yeah, because I just got y'all being like real disappointed. Like you're disappointed. You're tired of, you know, there's possibly a lot of arguing or disagreements or you're tired of feeling like you got to watch your back or, you know. You're just tired of feeling like you have to stand up for yourself a lot. Like, you're just trying to just be on the same level as somebody. Like I said, some of y'all with the Empress and the Ace of Cups, like, you have grown so much. Okay? There's something here, a lesson that you may have learned. And you're, you're going, you're looking for bigger and better. Okay, now we got the Temperance card here. Sagittarius is energy. Yes. See, you're trying to solve an issue. See, the five of wands is saying that there was some type of disagreement. Okay. There was some uh, competition. There was fights. You know, disagreements. The temperance is finding balance. Okay. Coming to a conclusion. So, you came to the conclusion that, you know, we got the lovers here and the queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The lovers is Gemini's energy. And then we got you guys' energy. Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Justice card. Okay? This could be... you. There may have been a lesson learned. A very valuable lesson learned. Okay? The Justice card is the card of Karma. Okay? Yeah, see, somebody made a decision... You made a decision or somebody made a final decision to leave. Somebody got abandoned. Somebody got left out in the cold. The Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody got left out in the cold. Okay. Five of Swords. You were pissed. And I feel like maybe somebody abandoned you or left you out in the cold. And now you're in search for something better. Someone could have been married with the Four of Wands. I'm getting them. Someone was married. Four of Wands and the King of Cups. And you, I feel like you guys um, are just on the lookout for something better. Why is the Emperor here? Seven of Cups. Different options, boo-boo. You're looking at all your options. I feel like some of y'all are talking to other people. Y'all got it going on. Lots of communication. All the communication cards are coming up. The Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Like, yeah, you get to make the final decision. You got better options to go around. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups and the Devil. Some of you could have been in a relationship with the Capricorn. But you, you, you got other options, okay? You got other options. Plenty of them. Plenty other options. Why is the Six of Cups here in the past? Knight of Pentacles. This is Capricorn's energy, but you may have felt like the offer that someone was giving you was very small. Someone could have been, you know, like giving you really small amounts of, of their, uh, just not giving you what you feel like you deserve. Okay. They could have been dragging their feet, moving really, really slow. Okay. With the Four of Pentacles, 
Um, this is saying that's like like what I said. Somebody was not giving you what you deserve. Okay. Um, I feel like you tried to try to stick this person. You tried to stick this person, but this person was very on the proud, on the loose player. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't no sticking that person. That person that you dealt with was very, very, they already had in their mind, you know, what their intentions were and they weren't, it's nothing that you could have done to stick them. Okay. Now with the Knight of Cups moving ahead. Yep. You're talking to and communicating with someone new. Okay. I'm getting lots of new energy. Okay. Lots of new energy. Why is the Page of Wands? I'm sorry, Ace of Wands. Very fiery, passionate energy. We got the Death card. Some of y'all feel like you may not be getting any sexual energy. Um, you may not be getting any sex. I'm hearing that as well, too. Some of y'all are refraining from sex um, until you make your decision on who it is that you want to be with. You want someone that's going to give you um, what you give them, okay? You want someone who's going to, there's an even exchange, okay? Six of Pentacles, okay? The Ace of Swords. You want somebody who's going to respect you and be honest with you and tell you the truth. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I'm kidding as well. Like, you may be giving this person that you dealt with money or giving... I'm, I'm feeling like you've been giving them your best, your all. But see, this person is... This person that you were dealing with, very Knight of Swords energy. They ran in and ran out, okay? With that King of Pentacles energy. Very... Um, their intentions were already set, you know? They already had their intentions set. Why is the star card here? Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. How others view you, um, they still see you as having hope. Um, maybe hoping that this person that you dealt with will come back. Maybe so they can jump them. You may got some friends that's like ready. Like, yeah, we're going to get, we going to get him. We're going to get his ass. <laughs> um, some, somebody here, I tried to tell you, uh, they knew this person with the high priestess and the eight of wands and the page of wands. They knew what this person was all about. Um, but this person didn't deserve you. Okay. Um, why is the page of cups here? Why is the Page of Cups? Eight of Cups, okay? Yeah, I'm getting like a missed opportunity. Why is the Eight of Cups here? You may have, you may have, uh, I'm getting a marriage here. And somebody's separated. Because I got the Hierophant and the Three of Swords, which is definitely a separation. And the Two of Swords, maybe this person told you that they were separated, but you weren't sure if they, if, you know, you really possibly wasn't sure was if this person was living with this person. This, you know, I feel like there was a lot of uncertainty here. Somebody was saying that they walked away from a, a relationship, a long-term relationship. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, I'm getting a husband here. King of Pen King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. But the thing of it is, is this person. Uh, may claim came off as single, but I don't really I'm not sure if they really were Okay, so we got the hermit card here as the outcome could be dealing with a Virgo Okay, but this is isolating yourself as well I feel like you're out and I'm going to say this I feel like you're out to to make this person regret what they did to you We got the five of cups and the, the judgment. Okay, you're trying to make this person regret um, how they came off to you, how they did things, and you're going to do that by progressing and continuing to move forward and finding something better and making them feel like they missed out. So I'm getting like you're trying to make them feel like, look what you missed out on. Okay, why is the magician here? The Ten of Wands, yep, you're going to make them feel like they messed up. Yep, make them regret. Five of Cups. 
Four of Swords. I feel like you get tired of waiting on them to return um, or waiting for them to reach out to you. And I feel like this person really made you feel kind of low, okay? Made you feel like rejected and left out in the cold. But the thing of it is, is this person didn't deserve you. Um, so the best thing that I feel like it's going to be for you guys to do is to just completely move on. They'll see it and be happy, okay? They'll see it. They're going to see it. Because I feel like y'all were really good to somebody and they just didn't, you know, they they didn't deserve it. Let's see what advice we have. All right. So, oh, okay. We got leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. See, you're releasing somebody. You're releasing a situation or someone because I got unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Like, I feel like some of you were dealing with the karmic. I feel like some of you were in a karmic situation or something that, you know, was meant to be there to teach you a lesson and for you to let go and to jump into something new. Because I got y'all leaping, taking a leap of faith. And if you're afraid to, Spirit is saying, take that first leap. We got you. We got you. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? But Spirit also wants to let you know that it's okay for you to take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. But then we got y'all being a warrior woman. See, y'all been going real, real hard. Um, Y'all been going real, real hard lately, okay? It's okay for you to take a break. It's okay for you to sit, this, sit, sit something out and really pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to look at all your options. You know, pay attention to everything that's going on around you, okay? It's okay to sit back and just take a look at everything. Evaluate everything. Give me one more card for Leo. Awakening. Yeah, see, you guys are going through some type of awakening, okay? Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, okay? A new way of being. All right, so I feel like you guys are going through some type of awakening. Um, I do feel like some of y'all definitely went through some, a karmic situation. Not everyone is in a karmic situation but this this group in particular that is going through this situation some of you were in a karmic situation that needed to just you know happen for you to learn a lesson for you to get the lesson out of it and for you to you know move forward okay whoever did this to you or whoever you were dealing with they did not deserve you i feel like you gave a lot to this situation um but i feel like you know, it's time to move forward. I feel like it's time to move forward. And I feel like you guys are going to have a, a handful of options to choose from. Okay. I hope this reading was helpful, guys. And I will chat with you in your next read. Ciao.